Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagements. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, playing out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Ghost Dog. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of seven wins, three losses. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Mickey Gall! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? All right, ready to go for round one, as many of you know. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a fight. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ghost Dog. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.